keenly awaited, the sealed doors of the new China space station slowly creak open. What secrets lie within the Tiangong? With the recent docking success, a crew of six Taikonauts starts life aboard, promising extraordinary insights into the mysterious world of Chinese space exploration. Layout of Tiangong Space Station The Tiangong Space Station consists of three modules, creating a T-shaped structure that orbits approximately 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. The core module, Tianhe, was initially launched in April 2021. Following that, the Wentian Experiment Module, which combines crew quarters, a research lab and an airlock, was added in July 2022. Additionally, the Mengtian Module serves as a twin to the Wentian, functioning exclusively as a space for research and experiments. Upon entering Tiangong, one immediately notices its spacious and open interior, a notable contrast to the International Space Station, ISS. Tiangong features a minimalist and modern design. Interestingly, the external diameter of Tiangong's modules closely matches that of the ISS modules measuring around 4.2 meters or 14 feet across. The significant difference lies in the internal space volume. This discrepancy can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, ISS modules are generally shorter, with more connection points in between leading to structural bottlenecks. For instance, the ISS's primary operating facility, the Destiny Lab, is 8.4 meters or 28 feet long, whereas both the Wentian and Mengtian modules are 18 meters or 59 feet in length. Secondly, Tiangong's technology is more modern and compact, allowing it to occupy smaller spaces. Many of Tiangong's systems connect wirelessly, eliminating the need for extensive cable networks seen on the ISS. Moreover, Tiangong's technology is concealed behind plain white panels when not in use, giving the station a clean and modern appearance. Whether this is for functional or aesthetic reasons, or to maintain secrecy about ongoing work, it adds to the overall sleekness of the station. In contrast to the ISS, where technology is more visibly interconnected and exposed, Tiangong adopts a more discreet approach, possibly enhancing its overall visual appeal and modernity. Spacewalk A remarkable aspect of life on Tiangong involves spacewalks a thrilling activity facilitated by three of China's own EVA suits stored in the Wentian airlock. These spacewalks are supported by two robotic arms on the station. The Tianhe module boasts a 10-meter arm while the Wentian has its own 5-meter arm. Notably, these arms can join forces, functioning as one cohesive unit, akin to the capabilities of the 17-meter Canadarmed on the ISS. Surpassing the ISS in utility, the Tiangong's dual arm system proved highly effective in a recent mid-November spacewalk. During this mission, the crew installed intermodule connection devices, essentially a set of handrails enabling easy traversal around the exterior of all three modules. This innovative feature enhances the station's versatility, demonstrating the advancements and practicality of the Tiangong spacewalk capabilities. Life inside Tiangong when exploring life aboard Tiangong, one immediately notices an interesting feature, the abundance of footholds secured to the floor. Unlike the typical sight of crews freely floating on the International Space Station, the Chinese astronauts prefer having their feet firmly on the ground. They are usually strapped in, not drifting freely. In group photos, the crew members stand upright, showcasing a preference for stability. Sleeping arrangements inside Tiangong are unique as well. Crew members sleep vertically in bags within one of the six bunk areas, resembling alcoves with curtains. Each person gets their own living quarters, with three quarters in the core module and three more in the Wen Tian module. The standard crew count is three, expanding to six during crew handover periods for a few days. Life on Tiangong appears comfortable for its crews. They engage in activities like cultivating fresh lettuce and vegetables on board, and receive supplies of fresh fruit including apples. A notable addition is Tiangong's Space Microwave, developed over 10 years by Galan's Aerospace. This achievement is significant as the ISS never had a microwave due to its high power draw. Instead, they use a food warming machine, which takes 20 to 30 minutes to heat up freeze-dried food packets. In contrast, Tiangong's Space Microwave can swiftly heat a meal for three crew members in just seven minutes. It was designed not only for low power consumption, but also to withstand the stress of a launch on the Long March 5B rocket. Exercise plays a crucial role in maintaining the health of crew members living in space. 
ISS astronauts must exercise for at least two hours daily to preserve muscle and bone density and prevent fluid buildup in the head. Tiangong addresses this need with a special treadmill and cycling station for cardio, similar to the setup on the ISS. Notably, the Chinese equipment is more compact and seamlessly integrated into the design. For resistance training, the new Mengtian research module introduces a unique addition, an onboard rowing machine. This differs from the ISS's resistance machine, allowing the crew to perform movements similar to squats and deadlifts with up to 600 pounds of resistance. The novelty of this equipment lies in its efficiency, offering a smaller and more effective way to achieve similar muscle activation. Considering the challenges of working out in space, this rowing machine provides a practical and innovative solution for the crew aboard Tiangong, the scientific research. The primary purpose of the crew's presence aboard the Tiangong is to conduct research and experiments that contribute to our understanding of life and the universe. With the addition of the Mengtian module, the Tiangong now houses a total of 23 experiment racks on board, along with an extra 50 platforms for exposed experiments on the station's exterior. These experimental racks enable a diverse range of studies covering ecology, biology in space, fluid physics, combustion, material science, and the effects of varying gravity. The Mengtian module features a specialized airlock system for external experiments. The crew can prepare an experiment from the inside, load it into the airlock, and an automated system will then depressurize and transfer it to the exterior. There, either a robotic arm or a crew member on a spacewalk can collect the experiment, attach it to the station surface, and retrieve it using the same system. The next addition to the Tiangong station is expected to be the Shuchan module a robotic space-style telescope. This telescope, currently in development, is designed to have a 2-metre diameter primary mirror, a field of view 300 times wider than the Hubble Space Telescope, and a 2.5 gigapixel camera equivalent to 2,500 megapixels. It will enable the telescope to image about 40% of visible space over a decade. Looking further into the future, China is considering expanding the Tiangong, Wang Xiang, the commander of the space station system at the China Academy of Space Technology, mentioned the possibility of adding an extension module to dock with the forward section of the space station. This extension module could carry a new hub for docking with subsequent space vehicles. China has a backup version of the Tianhe core module, providing the option to extend the existing structure and create a more cross-shaped station. While this extra space could facilitate more international cooperation, the current size of the Tiangong limits the presence of international crew members. However, the relatively small size of the Tiangong may restrict the number of international crew members visiting. Any potential expansion could alter this scenario. However, it's crucial to note that due to the Wolf Amendment, which restricts Chinese access to the International Space Station, a reciprocal restriction prevents American astronauts from participating in any activities related to the Chinese space station. This political limitation hinders collaboration between American astronauts and the Tiangong. Thanks for watching.